just wanted to talk to you first of all about musicals. Like, you seem to uh, have a thing about making this isn't your first. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about why you're so attracted to the genre and why you love making these very queer musicals? Musicals are often queer, but this is like queer in another way. You know? <laughs> I mean, so Corey and I, yeah, we've, we made We're the World Mine, which was here years ago. Thank you. Um, we did a film called Hello Again, which is also a friend of mine. Uh, we did with Mariachi Gringo. Uh, what's up with the musicals? Um, I think, you know, Everything like, is music driven in this moment. Yeah, and I think for us, like, we kind of came up in musical theater, and I just love music, and I like, we love, you know, having music drive the story. Um, this one is completely unique because we got to rip apart, you know, music and mash them up, and um, yeah, we just. Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, I grew up doing musical theater. I was I studied yeah, acting in college, and I, I was an actor. I did most of musical theater. It was a career for like seven or eight years after college, and just always really felt like the power of music and using music to tell a story. And how, how music just music can take you someplace that just dialogue can't by itself. So. And then we get to work with amazing yeah. singers. Like, I mean, it's always. <laughs> Um, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like self abuse in a way. Like we can't, like if we had, like our budgets, you know, we make small movies. I mean, this is the largest budget we've worked with, but still, with the main reason we went to Mexico City for it is like making a musical is extremely difficult. It requires a lot of people. We do all of the, we've done all of the singing live in all of our musicals, unless you know it's like slow motion or something. You can't. So like. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very tricky, difficult genre, but one that is super rewarding when you get it right. And in terms of queer, like we are queer, and we <laughs> want to tell queer stories, we want to be represented, like that is, you know, ever since our first movie, um, we want not only queer representation, but we've always given, you know, women, and like we try to make it a... Try to reflect the world that we live in, and not like some different world that Hollywood sort of thinks exists. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about getting the rights to all these songs. Did you write them a letter? How did they respond? I just want to know about how they felt and how you got them aboard. Yeah, you know, it was, it was we when I, I don't know what you said in the intro, but when I, when I gave him the script, it had places where the music would be, but it didn't have what the songs would be exactly. It had the description of what they would be, um, what they should be about and what they should embody. And we went back and forth after he read it about do we want to do original music? We reached out to a couple of musical theater, like Broadway composers that we know, and, and we thought, should we try to do jukebox musical, where it's like all music that we loved at the time, or like getting the rights to that would be a nightmare, trying to go to 30 different artists. And just Indigo Girls popped into our heads. We loved them from the very beginning, when I was like in, I think, high school or college or whatever. And, and there's literally, I think they've published close to 300 songs, so it's obviously a wealth of a wealth. And we just randomly emailed them on a whim. We had had a connection to their manager because we tried to work with them on a different project that didn't work out timing-wise. And within, literally within, I think, 10 days, they said yes, which is not happened. That is, and, and afterwards, we thought, oh, well, afterwards, and they said, you know, that they've been approached like dozens and dozens of times to do this, and they just didn't like any of the scripts. So we were but I think they also, lucky. yeah, the fact that it was a, a love story about two men. Um, yeah, they said they would not have probably wanted to do it if it was about two women because they don't want people to think it's about them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so interesting. But it totally works, so good on them for saying yes, it's amazing. Um, and I just wanted to ask Alex, how did you get involved in, you must have loved the idea of going to Mexico to, you know, shoot a musical for a couple of weeks. It must have been amazing. Yeah, this is like, um, like a, honestly, it's like a Cinderella type story, how this all happened. I just want to say hi to everybody because I was telling them like it's my first time in San Francisco and I feel more more at home here than I do like with my whole family, which is crazy. So thank you guys. It's so lovely here, it's so beautiful. Um, so uh, I think I told the story in Inside Out, but um, uh, I was outed online in 2018 and I was going through a very difficult time and. Uh, I mean, say what you will about outing someone without their consent. I was never going to do it myself, but because of that, my whole life kind of started. And my agent in LA found me on YouTube because I had a coming out story. And then this musical fell into my lap in the middle of a pandemic on my birth month. 
and the, the process was so quickly. I remember I was in the parking lot when I got the project and I just burst out in tears. Um, yeah, and then we went to Mexico and yeah, musicals are not easy. They are not. The, the day we shot the fire scene, I had just learned how to juggle fire the day before. So yeah, it was, it was such an experience and it was unforgettable and I'm like, I'm in love with Alan. I love him so much and I hope you guys saw that because we literally fell in love in the two months that we filmed this thing and it was just an amazing experience. So thank you. They also, they also sang like 95% of the music live. Um, yeah, so the nasal congestion is all there, all the nasal congestion because of the cold weather, it's all there. That's amazing. It was it really a two month shoot? That's a long time. Uh, it was six weeks. Seven months. It was like thirty seven days. Yeah. What, the main reason we went to Mexico City is because once we once our our executive producer said he wanted to give us the money, we called we called some line producers we know that work in like Albuquerque and New Orleans and places that we thought could visually work for the movie, and we were like, we're gonna get like the typical three week shoot maybe in the states with like a small crew, but in Mexico City we can have. 37 days of shooting and a crew of like 200 people with the full, you know, trucks and parent and trailers and everything that you can't have on a small budget in the U.S. Mexico, Mexico also has uh, government money, which the U.S. doesn't. Um, they have great support. Uh, we, that's our second movie that we've done in Mexico. Yeah, it's amazing. There really is. Just quickly, so many cameos. How did you get everyone signed up? There was like some amazing people in there. Yeah, it was. Um, it was really just a search. Like we would. We would talk about somebody and we made a lot of offers. I mean, during the pandemic, it was at the end of the pandemic when we were shooting, so a lot of people didn't want to travel or be in person. Um, but it just kind of snowballed. I mean, I was so excited about Kate Pearson. She's like another hero of mine. And, you know, um, she, she actually, I mean, what was crazy is we tried to shoot her. We, we did that separate at yeah, Green Screen, but uh, we were going to do it in New York, and she, we live in New York City, and she, said, you know what, why don't you come up to the B-52 studio in Woodstock? So we got to shoot in the B-52 studio, which is amazing. <laughs> that really is amazing. And uh, I just want to know, where, what is the trajectory of the film? Is it sold? To, are people going to see it soon? Yeah, we're, I mean, we're hoping to you know, release in the fall. Um, we're doing a bunch of festivals from now until then. Yeah. And I'm sure we'll see musicals from you all again soon. You will. Yeah, you will. Indeed. Look, thank you so much for coming. Thank you all three of you for being here. We hope to see them all again soon. I'm pretty sure we'll see you again very, very soon. So, always welcome to San Francisco. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody.